Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of all assembled here, we welcome those who are new to our parish family and all who are visiting with us online today as we celebrate the most holy body and blood of Christ. As a sign of our unity in Jesus Christ, let us greet those sitting around us as we greet those who have joined us on our Facebook live stream. entrance hymn is Table of Plenty. Please stand.
And let us begin our celebration as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, today the church celebrates with great joy the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ, or Corpus Christi, Corpus et Sangre Christi. We are the mystical body of Christ, and, we, and we, when we partake of the body of Christ and drink of the cup of salvation, we become one in Jesus Christ. As a people, let us offer this Eucharist, thanking God for all the blessings we have received from Him. Let us ask that we find the courage and the strength in faith as we face the crisis that we have nowadays. We pray for those uh, who have uh, gone before us, those infected by, by the disease. We pray most especially for our uh, frontliners who have uh, given a concrete testimony of what the Eucharist is all about, sacrifice. And so we thank God for all the gifts, the challenges, and the grace that we receive in Jesus in the most holy Eucharist, blessed Eucharist of the altar. As we prepare ourselves to offer this Eucharist that has first called to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and his compassion. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O 
God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the e land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with the seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. For we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today we are celebrating Corpus et Sangre Christi Sunday. On Holy Thursday, we celebrated the institution of the Holy Eucharist. On Corpus Christi Sunday, we affirm our faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. We are so blessed today that as we celebrate today's uh, solemnity of the body of Jesus, body and blood of Jesus Christ after almost three months, right? After three months, we will have here at Queenship of Mary, we will have the opportunity to receive Jesus in the Eucharist sacramentally. Uh, so we are happy that uh, that grace comes to us comes to us on the day 
where we celebrate and we affirm our faith in Jesus, really present, totally present, substantially present in the Eucharist. And our liturgy for today brings us, brings us to that mystery and mysterious and yet concrete manifestation and definitive manifestation of God's graciousness in Jesus Christ. In our first reading, we are back to the uh, desert experience of the people of Israel. They were hungry, wandering so many years in the desert, they ran out of food. And so they were grumbling before the Lord. They were grumbling before the Lord and, uh, and challenging the Lord, testing the Lord. Okay? They were dying for hunger, they said. And out of God's generosity, he gave them manna. What is manna? It's like a flaky uh, that you can see on the dew. It's like uh, it's, it rests on the grass. So it's a flaky, uh, so it's not the best of bread. Okay? <laughs> it's not the best of bread. Uh, but uh, it is food. It is food, especially in a crisis like that. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is good food. But you see, the manna given by God, by Yahweh, is not, is not only for them to be able to eat. It's not only for them to look for bread, but it is, for, it is to remind them that they live not by bread alone, but by the very word of God, by the word that comes from the mouth of God. This is affirmed in the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians in our second reading, okay? The bread that we break and we eat is the participation, is our participation in Jesus Christ. And the wine that we drink, blessed, is a participation in the person of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ but the Word of God incarnate? So that the Word of God, who is Jesus, and the bread of life, who is Jesus, is the fulfillment of that eternal nourishment promised by God in the Old Testament. In the Gospel, we hear Jesus saying hard sayings. In fact, if you read uh, uh, further, in the Gospel of Saint, uh, Saint John, you will see that many who heard Jesus could not take the sayings that he was uh, telling them. And so they left him. They left him. Okay? But Jesus did not, did not uh, uh, what do you call this? How do you say that? Waver, there you go. He did not uh, waver. He stick to his point. My flesh is the food, and my blood is the drink. And he who eats my flesh and drinks of my blood will have eternal life. He did not say, okay, it's a joke, okay, don't go. But it is a challenge. So now we see the Eucharist, which we celebrate every Sunday, is both a gift and a challenge. It is a gift given by God so that we may have eternal life, especially, especially and particularly in times of crisis. On Holy Thursday, just before Jesus is crucified uh, in, uh, on the mountain of Calvary, he gave his body this is my body. He gave us the bread, saying, this is my body. He gave us the wine and said, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. Eat and drink. Do this in memory of me, totally. 
total self-giving. So that the unbloody sacrifice of Christ realized in the bloody sacrifice of Christ on Calvary becomes the source, becomes the source of eternal life for us who believe in him. It is a gift graciously given, totally given to us so that we may have eternal life. But it is also a challenge, a challenge. Do this in memory of me, however difficult it may be. Do this in memory of me. Many who heard those sayings could not take it. Four times, Jesus used the Greek word trojan. Okay? It, is, uh, it is a word which means uh, munch, to munch. Okay? Like chewing. When you chew a gum, you really chew it <laughs> with facial expression. Okay? Concretely, you eat it. Okay? And, and, and a lot of people couldn't, couldn't bear it. Okay? Eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Okay? But that is what it is. Jesus giving himself to us in word, who is himself, and in the form of bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ, who is himself. So we see the realization every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we see a promise realized. God's promise to be with us realized. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we are reminded of the words of Jesus that he will be with us when he ascended into heaven, that he said, I will be with you until the end of time. And this is how he is with us, the Eucharist, by the invocation of the Holy Spirit, the bread and the wine becomes the body and blood of Christ. It is a gift and a challenge. In this time, we are faced with so many crises. Okay? The pandemic, a lot of us, many whom we know, got sick. Some of them died. We prayed for them. We prayed for each and every one of us. And during this time of pandemic, where we are all hunger, where we all hunger for God's nourishment, we are restricted. We couldn't go and receive Jesus sacramentally. But thanks be to God, he gives us himself to us in a spiritual way. When we celebrate the Eucharist, and most of you partake of the Eucharist, to our live stream uh, celebration of, uh, of the Mass, we have that spiritual communion. Our hunger for God gets even stronger and deeper. And today, it will be satisfied. Thanks be to God. What a great gift. What a great gift that we will have, we will be nourished. We will be nourished by the very body and blood of Jesus Christ. Today, on the solemnity of Corpus Christi. We are challenged these days by the violence that we see every day. The colors of racism, the violent death of a person. Nobody deserves to die, to die like George Floyd for example. This is beyond politics. This is beyond partisan politics. This is the value of life that we are talking about. John Paul II often say, often speak about the culture of life. The culture of life. Life also symbolized by body and blood. Blood is always a symbol of life. That's why when we donate blood, we always say you save life. 
because blood resembles, symbolizes blood. Nobody deserves to die violently. Life is a gift from God. And we condemn in a strongest sense a violent act inflicted on everyone. All lives matter. Even the life in the womb of the mothers, those lives matter. Brown lives matter. Black lives matter. Yellow lives matter. White lives matter. All forms of lives matter. Because life is the fundamental gift that God has given us. And it is also life that God has gifted us. Eternal life God is giving us when we partake of the Eucharist. St. Paul says, when we partake of the Eucharist, we participate in the very person of Jesus Christ. We become, in a way, alter Christus. We become other Christ. We are Christified by what we partake of. We become what we receive. It's one of the songs, right? We become what we receive. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ, and today, as we again receive Jesus sacramentally, let us affirm and reaffirm our faith in Jesus, who comes to us as a gift and as a challenge. When we celebrate the Eucharist, we realize that Christ is with us. He is in us, and he acts through us. God never abandoned us. I will be with you until the end of time. The Eucharist is that living sacrament, is that living testament. God never abandons us. He is always near us, never distant. In this time of crisis, let us draw our courage in Jesus as we receive him in the Eucharist. May we become what we receive, for when we receive, we are Christified, and may we Christify the world through us. I would like to thank those who amid this crisis have shared food to others who have none. And I want to thank all those who risk their own lives so that others may have life. These are concrete, powerful, and living testimonies of what we celebrate today, Corpus et Sangri Christi. May the Lord bless us, continue to sustain us, and nourish us with his own body and blood. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in God's graciousness, let us ask him to bless our prayers. For the Church, the body of Christ, that we will deepen our devotion to the Eucharistic sacrifice which gives life to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the redemptive power of Christ's Eucharistic sacrifice will extend to the hearts and minds of all who govern. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we pray always for ourselves, our families, and friends, and for our Queenship of Mary community, that we may more prayerfully hear God's call to church and to ministry within the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the courage to have difficult conversations about racism and for a better appreciation of how our words and actions or even our silence can impact our communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fathers and grandfathers, that they may find strength in their roles. Let the example of their faith and the love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of Queen Chippa Mary and this community, may the love and the truth that God has poured into our hearts sustain us in all that we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us spend a moment in silence and remember in prayers those who are in the front line doing their best to find cures for the disease, taking care of those infected, and maintaining peace and order. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have recently died, addicted the Jesus Senior, Francisco Almeida, and Reverend Father Rafael Amero Gorz. May they now enjoy the banquet of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pause now to air our own intentions in silence. For these prayers, for the prayers inscribed in the Book of Intentions, and for the people of the parish whom we remember at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We have 11 children preparing for First Communion, and it's been postponed and delayed. Let us pray for them that uh, they may not lose their enthusiasm and excitement to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. We pray for their families and for our catechists who help them to prepare for that wonderful day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And we ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to, to be seen in mystery in the offerings we, we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with these apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you, as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You make them holy, so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and on an earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without a hand we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and gave, gave, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Francis of Assisi and John Paul II, and all the saints, on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. By the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
The Lord Jesus Christ who said to her apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but to your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Immediately following Mass, our live stream Mass, those of you who joined us in our celebration through our live streaming of Mass uh, can come to church to receive the Holy Communion starting from 11.15 to 12 noon. Uh, those who are not receiving, we will invite you to pray for a spiritual communion like we used to do. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to. For behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. In the body of 
pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in the chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age, and by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to thank you all for joining me in our celebration of uh, joining us in our celebration of this Eucharist on the solemnity of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like uh, I've said, uh, after this Mass, we will have the reception, the distribution and reception of the Holy Eucharist. Uh, you will be welcomed by our Knights of Columbus as you drive uh, to our parking lot. And please uh, follow the instructions, okay? Even if you have your masks uh, put on, Keep a smiling face behind the mask, <laughs> for we are receiving Jesus in the most holy Eucharist. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank our uh, ministers uh, for the Mass, uh, Son, our lector, of course, our, uh, our uh, music ministry, and our tech uh, support. Uh, uh, thank you. And uh, the people who prepared our site for uh, our reception of the Eucharist uh, for today. Thank you for your uh, self-giving generosity of time, talent, and treasure. God bless us all. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Please bow for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that, in, so that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you.